Hey everyone, we're going to solve the equation cosine of theta equals zero and list six solutions. So first let's find where cosine is zero. That means where x is zero here and here. That means it's at pi divided by two and three pi divided by two. So let's write a general formula for our solution set. Theta equals pi divided by two plus two k pi or theta equals 3 pi divided by 2 plus 2 k pi. We let k be any integer. And that just means k can be 1, 0, negative 1, 2, just your integers. So if k is 0, before we look at this one, if k is 0, we get uh, theta equals pi divided by 2. If k is 1, you're going to get theta equals pi divided by 2 plus 2 pi. Now for 2 pi, if uh, k is 1, we have to add this. So my common denominator is 2. So I can rewrite this as 4 pi divided by 2 because that equals 2 pi. So just add these up and you get 5 pi divided by 2. Now from here, all you have to do is keep adding this. If k is 2 then this would be k equals 0, k equals 1, so k equals 2, just keep adding 4 pi, so this would be 9 pi divided by 2, add 4 to that, 13 pi divided by 2, you can keep going on and on and on. We could also subtract, and that would give you a negative uh, 3 pi divided by 2, because that's that would be where k is negative 1, <coughs> and then you can keep subtracting 4 pi, so the next one would be negative 7 pi divided by 2. So I know there's so many solutions there. We haven't even done this one. So this one's the same thing. You have theta equals 3 pi divided by 2. So we already have 3 pi divided by 2 if k is 0. We have to get that one in. All right, now let's uh, add our 2 pi. So that's going to give you 7 pi divided by 2. Keep adding 4, 11 pi, divide it by 2, adding 4, 15 pi, divide it by 2, and so on. If k is negative 1, you could subtract, and that would give you negative pi, divide it by 2, subtract 4 again, that would be negative 5 pi, divide it by 2. There's way more uh, solutions than we needed, but you can pick what you want and list your six solutions. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you.